right, welcome back everyone to another week of Sequel with Bert. This week I have a special guest panel uh, to discuss what our first sequel fails were. And with me here I have Andy Mallon from Century One, Aaron Stilato from Sequel Skills, and Mr. Anonymous who is so ashamed of his sequel fails that he wanted his identity concealed. So to get things started, Andy, do you mind sharing with us the story of your sequel fail? Thanks, Bert. So one of the, my first SQL fails was uh, before I was a DBA, when I was uh, working at a startup, we were on site with a client doing a week long of training and we were going live the next day. That night I was told to delete out all of the test appointments, test data, everything people had created while we were uh, doing our training. So uh, not being great at SQL, I opened up Enterprise Manager, uh, Bert, uh, you might not have been born when Enterprise Manager was still a thing, uh, but it's the predecessor for SQL Server Management Studio. Oh, okay. And uh, I used the GUI to drag a couple tables together to, to join the person table to uh, the appointments table and highlighted all the rows and hit the delete key. And then I went back to the scheduling software to make sure that I deleted everything properly. And that person was completely missing. And I realized that by joining the tables together, in Enterprise Manager, I had deleted the rows from both tables. So the provider was missing in the person table and all of the appointments were missing. So I'd done both good and bad. Uh, and it was three in the morning and we were going live the next morning and uh, I had my, oh, what did I do moment. Uh, and that was when I was like, oh, I can find the row and reinsert the person but I got a new ID and then I had to go search the internet because there was no one awake to help me. And that was how I learned how insert uh, identity insert worked uh, and managed to get the row inserted and nobody knew until I told them later. But that is definitely the last time that I ever use the <laughs> GUI in order to delete a row. Wow, well, okay. Thank you very much, Andy. Uh, Aaron, do you want to share your story? Sure. So we had a customer that had SQL Server 2012 and they were running database mirroring. So this is quite a while ago. And the secondary server was not as good as the first server and primary went down, like completely failed. It was out and we had to go to the secondary, but the secondary, because it was a subpar server, was way behind. So far behind that we decided to actually restore from backup, which not ideal, because they were gonna have a complete downtime, but they were already down anyway. So we kicked off the backup, or excuse me, we kicked off the restore. And as the restore is going, I'm scripting out the log restores and I'm making sure to, re to script it out, right, with no recovery, because I gotta apply lots and lots of transaction logs. And it's like nine o'clock at night and I know that it's gonna take a few more hours. So I go to bed and I set my alarm to wake up. Well, a team member is helping me with this, right? Which is great. But the team member, who I love and adore, wakes up and sees that the full restore has finished and it's gonna kick off the log restores. And I wake up because my alarm goes off and I text and I'm like, hey, I'm gonna start the log restores. And my teammate responds and says, I just brought the database online. And I'm like, what? You're kidding, right? And even though I had scripted out all the restores for the logs, um, my teammate went and started them and did them manually and forgot to say no recovery. So we had to start restoring all over again with now additional downtime. Wow, yeah, that's that doesn't sound too good. Mm -hmm. And for our last guest, Mr. Anonymous, uh, do you care to share your story? Yeah, so I was working on a big automation project and I had all these grand ideas of all these things that I wanted to do. And on paper, it sounded great. There was just two little problems. One, I didn't test enough. And then two, when I went to put this all into production, it went completely sideways on me ended up wrecking an entire database. And oh, by the way, come to find out, I didn't really have good backups. <gasps> so yeah, not only did my grand plans go awry, I pretty much trashed my career because of it. And if I could do it all over again, I would probably test a little bit more and also build in some better air handling. Wow, Mr. Anonymous. I mean, that definitely is a good case for making sure your backups are, are ready to go when you need them. Well, thank you everyone for tuning in. Thank you to my guests today. I appreciate you all coming and uh, We'll see everyone next time. Yeah. Thanks. Good. Really good job. Yeah. Thanks, Drew. Yeah. All right. That's a wrap. Thanks, guys. Yeah, we're good. good. Yeah. yeah.
Cool. Right. Th thanks for coming, Drew. Oh, yeah. So good to get that off my chest. Would you care to share your story? Sure. That's <laughs> what I had to do, right? Like, <laughs> no, that's no, perfect. That's okay. exactly, I mean, that's exactly. And I'll never delete from the mother ducking gooey again. Wow. <laughs> Can you tell us about one of your first sequel fails? Sure, Bert. No, I don't, I can't, no, I need to do that again because I can't say sure, Bert, because now I think of like. <laughs> Will you be able to mask my voice? Yes. Well, right, I'm gonna make, cool. do you want a deep or high? <laughs> I, you just, that is completely up to you. When I went to put this all into production, it went completely sideways on me, ended up wrecking an entire database. And... Oh, this is a good smile. It's a good smile. What is that? Is that a toy on the end of it? I bet you that's a toy. Yeah, I bet Bert would love to give <laughs> yeah. that to you. Dad, that camera has a squirrel so. on it. Yeah, that's yeah. A, is that a squirrel? <laughs> Where are the squirrels? They're around here somewhere, He's I looking. bet. Yeah, he knows. He doesn't like them. So sorry. <laughs> Do you want me to start Do you want to redo it? <laughs> yeah, well... <laughs> <laughs> Do you need a, a sip of water? No, I don't know where that came from. And scene. Yeah. <laughs>